Okay, let me do a quick recap here. I departed from South Florida because I wanted to see the turning of the leaves. I visited uh, Central Florida, South Georgia, Central Georgia, North Georgia, the Atlanta area, Helen, back to the North Georgia mountains, then the Smoky Mountains, and finally got to see some fall foliage. Now for the return trip, we're going to pass by the Georgia Guidestones, Watson Mill Bridge State Park, and eventually Fernandina Beach, Florida. So stay with me here because a brand new Traveling Robert video is coming up next. I'm riding, 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 riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV I am leaving Almond Boat and RV Park I do have some garbage, so let's take care of that and off we go! This is North Carolina Highway 28, going through the Nantahala National Forest. Almost as bad as the tail of the dragon as far as it being curvy and up and down all the time going through the mountains. Actually, the northern terminus of this road is Deals Gap, where the tail of the dragon begins. By the way, old Kia has been performing great towing the trailer on these rather steep grades here, and I think the reason for that is actually the curvy nature of these uh, mountain roads uh, that forces me to go you know, 30 miles per hour, sometimes less. I usually overheat or struggle on the interstate, where I am expected to maintain a certain speed. So the secret to mountain driving while towing is actually taking it slow. And I am in no hurry today. I'm really sorry for the three bikers stuck behind me, uh, forced uh, to ride slowly. I'm sure they were seeking a thrill ride. Okay, I'll let him pass. This here is the Little Tennessee River to the right, as we approach Kaui. Okay, I would like to show you the whole trip, but we don't have time for that. I'm gonna stop here at the Walmart in Franklin, North Carolina to resupply and continue south on US 23, which is also US 441. We are now in Dillard, Georgia. I encounter some heavy traffic around the Mountain City and Clayton. And we are now in Livonia. It is like a ghost town, this downtown area, but maybe because it is Sunday. There seems to be a burial here at the Crossroads Baptist Church. And we are now in Hartwell, Georgia. We are getting close to our destination. Hmm 
this checkpoint, I wonder what's going on. Could it be our proximity to the Georgia Guidestones? Actually, the officer was pretty nice. After inspecting my driver's license, he asked me how well my car towed the trailer and uh, he told me to drive safely. Anyways, here we are. Okay, here we are, the Georgia Guidestones. Let's check it out. Located in Elbert County, Georgia, 750 feet above sea level, there is this rather strange and controversial granite monument, the Georgia Guidestones. It was erected in 1980 and its most prominent feature is a set of 10 guidelines, modern-day commandments, if you will, inscribed in eight different languages. The eight main modern languages, I guess. The origin is kind of dubious. It was commissioned by a man using the pseudonym of Mr. Christian, and I quote, on behalf of a small group of loyal Americans. There is actually a very good documentary about this called Dark Clouds over Alberton. The most controversial of the guidelines is actually the first one, advising to keep Earth's population under 500 million. And since we are well past that, it could mean some kind of genocide. The other guidelines, they sound pretty sensible, if you ask me. It has uh, some astronomical features, uh, like a slot in the center pillar aligned with the solstices and equinoxes, an aperture that shows uh, the day of the year, and the hole through which you can see the North Star. And then, this explanatory tablet, supposedly covering a time capsule. There are all kinds of conspiracy theories regarding the monument, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I just think it is an interesting off the beaten path curiosity. All the way out here, kind of in the middle of nowhere. Let's continue. No U-turn possible here with the trailer in tow, so I'm going to have to go all the way around. Goodbye, Georgia Guidestones. Our next stop, Watson Mill Bridge State Park. If you follow the regular GPS, you know, Google Maps, it is going to take you through this entrance from Highway 72, which is not suitable for RVs because you would have to go on the covered bridge, which is only 9 feet tall and it has a 3 ton limit, so don't do like I do and follow the directions on the park's website, which clearly state that you should enter through Highway 22, which represents an extra 20 minutes of driving for me now. As I arrive in Comer, Georgia, I decide to put some gas. There's bad weather in the forecast for tomorrow morning, so uh, it'll be one less thing to do. Okay, this looks kind of abandoned. Well, anyways, here we are. This is the back entrance. Let's get checked in. By the way, it is $30 per night, you know, the camping, and they did charge me the extra $5 for the parking pass. It, it is a Georgia State Parks thing. It's the bridge, obviously, I don't fit through there, and she said to make a right, right before the bridge, so that would be this right here. This is the campground, not very large, like 20 sites. I am having a hard time here deciding where to park. I think I am going to stay right here by the entrance and also by the trail that goes to the covered bridge. I am at the Watson Mill Bridge State Park. 
here's my sight. I'm not even gonna disconnect the car from the trailer because tomorrow morning I'm leaving early. Now we're gonna do the hike to the covered bridge. Okay, this is my site here and I happen to choose the site that is right next to the hiking trails. Let's hike to the visitor center and the covered bridge, three quarter mile. How hard could it be? Oh well, fork on the road. Let me look at the map. Okay, I chose to go on the right hand side. The trail doesn't look very well indicated. I hope I don't get lost. Campground? No, I want to go South Fork, I guess. Seems like the river is right down there. Yeah, that's the river down there, the Broad River. Just another walk in the woods. Oh wow. Maybe I should have brought my hiking shoes. It seems to be a viewing platform here. I hear water. We must be getting close to the dam, I guess. I don't know. Check it out, the trail. I believe I am approaching the ruins of the old powerhouse. Mm, stairs. Oh, wow. Man, this is like an obstacle course. Well, I guess. To the old power station. And another fork on the road. I guess it could be either or. I'm gonna go down to the river. River. Must be getting close. And there's the covered bridge. By the way, this is the longest covered bridge here in the state of Georgia, a built in 1885 by Washington W. W. King, a son of Fritz Slave, and a famous covered bridge builder, Horace King. It is so beautiful out here. It is the bridge. Well, let's go across. Inside the bridge. the other side. Yeah, people come here to take pictures, apparently. It's a beautiful place. Well, here we are. This is the Watson Mill Bridge. 
Um, this is the place where uh, Camper Van Kevin uh, took Nomadic Fanatic some years back. And it is a beautiful park here in Georgia. I don't know if I should continue. Okay, let me go a little further here, a little more of a hike. Let's see. Another great vantage point here. It's definitely another great vantage point here from the top of this. I don't know, it's like a pier. I don't know. Let's continue going back to the campground. When I came to the park earlier, I came through the wrong entrance. And um, of course, we don't allow RVs or, or any oversized vehicles here on the, on the bridge. Next time I'll come with more time to spend here, you know. It's very picturesque. If I could only find my way back to the campground, we'll be all set. I think it's that way. Okay, one last shot of this beautiful river here. It's dark. Yeah, we made it. Well, that hike made me hungry, so let's eat. I bought some onions today at, at Walmart. Let's have another. Sausage. Yeah, sure, why not? Bacon bits. Marinara sauce. Can you see the kitchen here? I was going to give you a long and detailed uh, culinary experience here. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to give you the highlights. Look out for a more complete Robert's RV cooking show video very soon. Good morning. 
Yeah, it's been raining all night. Well, it looks like the poncho that came with the, with the first aid kit may come in handy because Furka says it's not going to stop raining for at least two hours. And uh, I really don't want to be here if it's raining, you know. There was a rain poncho somewhere in here. Here it is. Let's see how this works. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to outrun the rain today, but it's probably in the car. I have never worn one of these. Oh, I see. This will be interesting. Well, it's been like this all night, raining all night, and um, you know what? I'm gonna try to get out of here. Okay, that taken care of. I'm just gonna button up things inside and get out of here. GoPro on the roof. There it is. Say goodbye. <sighs> it is going to be a miserable drive. to outrun this rain but it would be nice it's awful it's awful up here look at that succeeding out running this storm I'm um, 38 minutes away from Augusta making a beeline east as far east as I can and then south to Jacksonville um, it's been a, a, a stressful drive to say the least they have a dump station at this rest area oh, check it out this rest area has a dump station Well, the idea is to fill up at this uh, pilot gas station, but it is very, very busy and I don't have the most maneuverable setup here. I don't want to waste too much time waiting, you know, blocking the street. So I'm going to pay 14 cents more per gallon at this much less crowded gas station. Let's make sure the GoPro is recording. Well, I figure I paid probably about a dollar more at this uh, BP gas station. But the pilot was like super crowded. So, uh, 
very busy area here just outside Augusta. And um, she's rerouting me. Still long Head northeast on Park go. West Drive toward Georgia 383 South, then turn left onto Georgia 383 North. Yeah, easier said than done. I wonder if I make it right now, it's 21 minutes lower. No, I have to, I have to wait here. And the pilot looks like it is not as crowded anymore. Riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV, yeah, I'm riding, riding, riding. I'm riding in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free. In my RV, yeah. Making Cuban coffee, and we are at a uh, Lowe's parking lot uh, near Savannah. Make a long story short. Actually, not so short. Welcome to Florida. Thank you. If you have enjoyed traveling with us, and make sure you are subscribed and check out my other videos. Also, share it with your friends, spread the word, and leave me a comment. Now, if you really, really liked it, you have a chance to show your support at patreon.com slash travelingrobert. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.